my question was uh, for example this is news letter that's running that's been running from around a year now and the hmm. tone for it is set subscribers already expect it into a certain way subscribers hmm. are, are not increasing like they should be and the open like you know the engagement rates are not dipping down they are constant hmm. and hmm. now at this point we would like to maybe change the tone of it and you know hmm. add some new and exciting how do you think we should make the transition how do we ease our subscribers into staying but before you uh-huh. want to make a transition are you really sure uh, it's your content that that's a problem or that's the improvement area you are looking at do you have any so uh, how do we find that out like that is where i'm uh, basically that is my question how do we what do you think should we be sending feedback emails and no actually like, uh, i mean again uh, sending feedback emails would not really help you solve the purpose i would actually urge you to you know get connected with your users on a very casual level maybe okay. if you are if you are sending out this uh, email to your customers uh, hmm. and if you have a i believe you guys have a customer success team right right, uh, right. you can just nudge them to bring this up in their conversations with your customers somewhere right okay how mm-hmm. are they liking your emails or what improvements can be done what are they expecting and so on okay and even if you get to collect 10 data 10 data points around that piece you can right. very well incorporate those in your content right yeah yeah most that of the times so what happens is uh, transitions usually are not that smooth and mm. uh, that's where you then sort of land up in that part wherein you can't go back and you can't exactly. continue so that's where it's very important to first make a firm stance that this is really a problem and that's what we need to improve but first okay. before you do that you first need to understand that this is the problem you need to have that certain stance on right. it right okay makes sense thank you so much gaurav no worries all the best say ali is asking what kind of lead mag- lead magnets can be used what type of content pieces have you observed getting great response for your audience say ali uh, success stories always work great in b2b sans that's a no brainer no brainer followed by your insightful ebooks obviously not really just some random ebook an ebook which contains uh, in depth knowledge about a particular topic or uh a sort of a benchmarking ebook or a white paper that really works and then followed by your webinars on a very very sharp topic so these are some of the lead magnets that work uh, really well in my experience obviously nothing beats a success story right right gaurav thank you so much for for answering my question it uh, was a great session i really uh, gathered a lot of ideas and information uh, i i just had one more question gaurav uh, so hmm. in a newsletter how many visuals is too many visuals because i've seen some brands sending no visuals at all right hmm. all they write is just it 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 reads like a big letter to me Correct. Uh, so I'm confused whether or not should I go heavy on uh, on visuals. So in my experience, uh, anything over and above three is too much. Okay. Three is still on the higher side. That's where that's where you saw that we included only two visuals in our. I mean, if you consider the actual resource visuals, third was just a picture of my bicycle. All right. But uh, anywhere over and above three is too much. Okay okay and is there also the risk of email size getting heavy because if if you are uh, not really you're... not really so uh, th- there is a work around for that uh, whenever you are getting your creatives designed before mm-hmm. you upload them somewhere or generate that url to include your include in your html you can always compress their size on tiny png okay okay so Got it. that really solves the purpose yeah All right, and one last thing, Gorab. I saw your signature in your emailer, and I I want yeah. something like that for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you how did you what tool did you use to to make Bitmoji? That? There is an app available on Google Play Store called Bitmoji. Bitmoji, got it. Got yeah, it. you can design your avatar using that app, and then you can ask your design team to uh, resize your avatar if it's not in the correct size. to fit it into your email newsletter and then you can send it out 